Dallas police are still searching for the gunman who shot two people, killing one in Uptown early this morning. Good evening. I'm Natalie Solis. And I'm Richard Ray. Police have not identified the shooter who drove away. It happened in the 3000 block of Ruth Street. That's near the Katy Trail. Fox 4's James Rose is there tonight with more on the story. James. Right, Richard, it happened right here on Ruth Street, right about where that red Nissan is right now, right here by Cedar Springs Road. Now, we talked to a number of people off camera this morning who say they heard multiple gunshots and were later horrified to hear a man was murdered and another injured all over what police call a parking dispute. I'm sorry, that's, that's, that's horrible. That's really horrible. And I live around the corner. I don't, I mean, Uptown I, neighbors like Ricardo Winkler are disturbed to hear a man was shot to death in his car and the passenger wounded. It happened just after 2 a.m. Sunday morning. Police say there was an altercation over a parking space on Ruth Street near Cedar Springs Road. One of the drivers bumped or hit the other's vehicle. That's when Dallas police say the suspect got a gun, opened fire on the two men inside this Ford sedan. Investigators say the driver, 29-year-old Demandre Green, was pronounced dead on the scene. The passenger was taken to the hospital but is expected to survive his gunshot wounds. The gunman, police say, drove off. Just, there's no words for that. It's just, it's just sickening. I mean, we all, somebody literally lost their life because you bumped their car. Family members still too distraught to talk on camera say Green was a good man and a father of three, the youngest just 10 months old. It definitely makes you question the area and, uh, and, and wonder about this area. You know, you typically think of it as a very safe place, so uh, makes you reconsider a little bit. Working through the night, police gathered evidence on the scene, talked to possible witnesses, and are reviewing surveillance cameras in the area, but so far have not identified the suspect. It's definitely concerning living in this area. You want to be able to go into the restaurants and the bars without fear and be able to come and go from your parking lot. So definitely makes you think twice about how safe and secure you are, even if you're doing smart things. Family members of Green in the Burleson area say Green would love to come to Uptown Dallas to visit many of his friends here at some of the local bars and never thought anything like this could happen. Now, police have not released any additional information about the suspect or any video that may help identify the gunman. Richard. Thank you, James.